Part of that is uh, advanced integration with some of the open standards for P25, the area of ISSI, and actually a specific DFSI, the digital fixation interface. Uh, so in the booth, we actually have a P25 trunk system, ISSI capable, um, the ability to do full end-to-end -end P25 capabilities between the soft console, some of the other devices, uh, actually a, a very a new product offering in the IP trade, a touchscreen capability. My colleague will actually talk a little bit about uh, and then also the ability to demonstrate this digital fixed station interface and bring it all together uh, and introduce things like P25 encryption in the example as well. So on console, we have a couple of different resources. Uh, one of the resources is a trunk system uh, talk group. And as you can see, when I key up on the, uh, the talk group resource, I'll actually be able to uh, be able to talk out on my, uh, my digital device and be able to see that RFSS, talk back in, see it on the console, you can actually see the unit ID information that's coming in. This is a true native P25 capability, which we're pretty excited about. Where things get very interesting for us, though, is we move into the, the, the digital fixed station interface and actually see end-to-end -end P25 encryption in that marriage of the trunk system and the conventional system. So as I look at uh, the tape resource here on the screen, for example, I'll be able to key up on that. Uh, demonstrate that I can talk in and you see the, the radio ID coming up on the screen. It's very interesting though when I dig into this a little bit more, I actually see the secure audio communication, the AES-256 encryption. In fact, if I show you the portable device, it's pretty exciting as well. We're actually seeing true end-to-end -end AES-256 encryption on the portable device, which is a, a strong indication that we're seeing the market move really into a more, more operable technology uh, discussion. Pretty excited about that. Maybe if I could pause there and turn to my uh, colleague, uh, he'll show you a little bit about the touch screen advancement. Uh, IP turret and trade application. Okay, I'm back with Kevin McFadden now, and Kevin, uh, there's a, actually a very exciting thing that we haven't talked about yet, which is the ability to send Project 25 voice over an LTE device. You're going to demonstrate for that for us right now. What is that all about? Exactly. Um, our partnership with EtherStack has given us the ability to expand our mobile client capabilities, and so the core infrastructure that we described a bit earlier in our discussion is going to be expanded. It currently is expanded. We have uh, the client that I'm showing today is a full P25 capable endpoint. It actually registers as a P25 subscriber device. In this case, it actually has the ability to support six simultaneous subscriber sessions, if you will, to different resources. So in this case, I've got a P25 trunk, I've got the conventional Quantar, and even a, a small lightweight uh, conventional uh, device on the other side. And you can see, as I'm actually talking on the devices, you can see live, I'm getting uh, affiliation with the trunk system. I actually have uh, audio coming through the device and uh, getting uh, all the supplementary services that I would hope to on the P25 system right on the mobile device. Uh, well, thanks very much. We really appreciate the overview and all the time you gave us. Our pleasure, man. Thank you.